What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about exactly how the American Express Gold Card is gonna cost you only $30 per year. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. It's been quite a while since I last posted a video. I've been caught up with work, I've been sick, I've been going through a whole lot of things, but I am back, and in today's video, I'm ready to drop some fire. Now, guys, the American Express is hands down one of my favorite cards out on the market, and there's a few reasons for that. Here's why. Food. I love eating food, I love eating out, I love cooking food, I love anything that involves food, but even more, I love getting my 4X back on the food and the things that I'm gonna buy anyways. Keep in mind, 4X back on food is actually one of the highest you can get back on a credit card. So the question is, how do we go from a $250 annual fee card down to a $30 annual fee card? We're gonna do a little bit of math here, very simple stuff, and here's how the breakdown works. Once you guys drop a like on this video, to make money off credit cards, to reduce that annual fee, and to come out on top in terms of the positive value, what we really need to do is understand that this is a pay-to-play system. There are cards out here where you don't have to pay annual fees and you can still reap the benefits, but I do believe that some of the strongest, best-earning cards come with an annual fee, and it's all about breaking even in terms of that annual fee cost. Just like going to a casino to play slots, you put in money and it spits back more money out to you. If you're really unlucky, and all your odds go the other way, then you may lose money. I'm paying American Express that $250 initially when I get the card, but I know with all the benefits that it gives to me, I'm getting back more money at the end of the day. So this card also comes with an additional $120 dining credit. The way this is split up is every month you'll get a $10 credit. We have 12 months in a year and that adds up to be $120. You can use this dining credit to Grubhub, Shake Shack, Ruth Chris's Steakhouse, Seamless, Cheesecake Factory, and and they just added another one too, but those are really the main ones that you guys should consider. It's very easy to use. Now, in addition to that, you do get a $100 incidental airline fee credit. Back in the day, this was very easy to use where you could actually just go out on a selected airline's website partner. You just go on there, you buy a gift card, and a couple days later, it would actually refund you that statement credit. Now, I'm not gonna lie, American Express definitely likes to play games sometimes. They make these credits a little bit harder to use, unlike the Chase Sapphire Reserve, where almost every Everything goes in that category and you don't even have to think twice about using the travel credit that they provide. Now American Express gives us these credits and it looks really good on paper, but you do have to do a little bit of work to make it go a long way. Now I can't confirm nor deny that some budget airlines will actually trigger that incidental airline fee credit, but there are some airlines that it's still working for around the $100 range. And your boy may or may not have accidentally or coincidentally try this out to see if it worked and he may or may not have gotten his $100 or $200 airline incidental fee credit back from doing this and then refunding that airline ticket so then he has the credit onto his account for that budget airline which he can use for the rest of that whole one year instead of letting that credit go to waste may or may not <coughs> southwest <coughs> southwest you got <coughs> you can <coughs> Oh, my throat, my throat hurts so bad for some reason. <laughs> Southwest, around $100, <laughs> three to five days, <clears throat> let the credit refund it. Ah! Now, once we consider those two credits, we have the airline incidental fee credit, we have the dining credit. That right there is $230 worth of value. We subtract that from the annual fee and we get $30 of annual fee at the end of the year, assuming that you're able to use those credits. Now that we break it down like that, this card doesn't seem that scary, right? You know, a $250 annual fee, I'm not gonna lie, that's a good amount of money. That can definitely hurt quite a bit. Once we really do a breakdown of the credits that it provides, automatically, this is down to $30. But I haven't even gotten to the best part. With that $30, you still get 4X back on supermarkets and you get 3X on flights booked through the American Express portal. The 3X 
back on flights with the American Express portal, it's not a crazy thing to me, uh, just because sometimes the portal actually makes the price of the flight more expensive. So you actually end up paying more money than the cash back you would get. And also if you have a card like the platinum card or even the reserve card, you can find yourself getting the same multiplier, if not more. So in addition to getting the 4X back on restaurants and US supermarkets, we actually get even more additional benefits. Now think about this, you're paying $30 of an annual fee for a card that's gonna give you what I'm about to mention right now. This is Brian, you cannot see Brian. Brian is behind the white screen. You get no foreign transaction fees. You get a personalized travel service. You get the travel collection by the travel leader group. You have the hotel collection. You have car rental loss and damage insurance. You get baggage insurance and you also get shop runner. Now for your average consumer, most people aren't gonna be able to use all of those benefits per year. I know a lot of people don't even end up renting a car. Uh, most people just never have. I, I, I don't think it's a huge thing, especially when you're traveling. I feel like there is a luxury of being able to find other options like Turo and just different things like that. So it does come with additional benefits. And I think that's the most important thing to highlight. You shouldn't use credit cards primarily for these benefits that you wouldn't use. I think it's good to just know that that credit card offers that benefit in case you need it. Now, another reminder, $30, we're getting all this, but we have not even mentioned the best single part of this credit card. I guess all credit cards. And that's actually going to be the welcome bonus associated with it. For anyone new to the points and miles hobby, this is something I reiterate so much on my channel. And the most most important thing that credit cards can offer you guys it's not the multiplier it's not the benefits to me what I value the most is actually that welcome bonus and that's why I really strive hard to be able to go for that the welcome bonus is usually an offer where you spend X amount and you get X amount back welcome bonuses are really an incentive for us credit card consumers to use that card more now how does this benefit the other banks and credit card companies well the more we use a card the more interchange fees they get in addition to that we also make it a habit to use that card more often now in this industry there really is two groups there's going to be people who are responsible who know how to use credit cards that don't carry that debt or strategically carry that debt where they do not pay interest and there are going to be the other side of the group and this is pretty much the rest of the world where they do not understand the true face value of credit cards and they actually have credit card debt which defeats the purpose of all this when you have a welcome bonus when you're incentivized to spend four five six seven thousand dollars in a period of a couple months some people find themselves not being able to pay back that full amount and that's when they actually owe interest now banks make money through a variety of ways it's not just through the interest and that's what I thought in the beginning as well too but they actually make money in a lot of different ways and one of those ways is the interchange fees that I mentioned I made a video on that a while back on my channel so Brian how do they make that dough Kobe so credit card companies actually make a lot of money from something called interchange. Interchange fees is just basically, every time we do use a card, the banks also make a small commission off of whoever uses that card. We, however, are in a fundamentally different place than our competitors. So if you look at uh, a major bank card issuer, 70 to 85% of their revenues are driven from interest income spread. In our model, 12 to 15 percent of our revenues are driven by spread. So we actually like people to spend and pay us back. So often people will say to me, you know, I pay you back every month. I'm really not one of your good customers. You're one of our best customers, one of our best customers. We love you. We want you to spend and pay us back in 30 days. Our prime lenders, our prestige lenders, people like American Express, they're gonna go for that interchange rather than the interest that people pay to them. So at the moment, the current public offer is 35,000 MR points if you guys spend $4,000 in three months. When this card first came out, it was like 50,000 MR points at like $2,500 spend. And that's why I always recommend people to try and wait for that best welcome bonus offer. Now, it's been about a year since American Express released this card. I don't believe that they're gonna come out with that same welcome bonus offer that they did in the beginning. And also in the beginning, they actually gave you like 20% back up to like a hundred some dollars in the beginning when this card came out. So it really pushed people to get this card even more. At this point, if you guys are interested at all in applying for the American Express Gold Card, I do have affiliate links down below in the description. It really does support this channel, it allows me to talk about credit cards and put out content like this. But guys, also keep in mind, there is no obligation to use those links. It's just an easy way for you guys to support this channel if you guys would like to. So that is there. Thank you.
Now, here's the thing. If you don't use that airline incidental fee credit, if you don't use those dining credits associated with that card and you're still stuck paying that straight up $250 annual fee, if you guys get the welcome bonus, if you guys are able to get 35,000 MR points, and if we value those points at a very conservative number of one MR to one cent, then you can actually find yourself still getting $350 back in that $4,000 worth of spend. If you subtract that from the annual fee, you're still coming out on top in terms of the $100 you get back. Now, it's very unlikely that if you're watching this video, you're not gonna use the dining credit and you're not gonna use the airline incidental fee credit. But if you do just put in a little bit of work, you can find yourself getting a a lot more value in terms of the money you pay back to these credit cards. But I believe the biggest advantage to the American Express Gold Card, to the membership reward points that you get with it, is being able to utilize all the transfer partners that they have in terms of the traveling that you may do in the future. American Express actually has a huge and wide variety of transfer partners, and they actually have these promotions where sometimes your points can be worth even more if you transfer them out to certain partners, and then if you redeem it for certain type of flights or certain type of class upgrades, you can find yourself getting even more value. At the end of the day, credit card points and miles, this hobby takes a little bit of work, just like anything else, but it is so rewarding. I know for me personally, I'm too cheap to pay for a first class flight. I'm too cheap to ever pay for a business class flight for myself, but I know that if I use points, I know if I'm actually getting a deal on something, then there's a good chance that I'm actually gonna be able to experience that in this life. Guys, make sure you do find yourself getting value. Something that I personally do with my credit cards is I always make sure I have a reminder on my Google Calendar to make sure I use that credit at some point. Now, if you do get to a certain point where you have about 12 to 13 different credit cards, you need to understand that you have to use these credits for you to come out on top in terms of the value. Some people just don't wanna put that work. Some people just wanna stick with the no annual fee cards and that is completely fine. But I do believe that if you wanna experience just a little bit more in this life, if you guys wanna take advantage of the things that are out there completely for free, then these are the things that are available. You just have to do a little bit more work. And all of this information is available. It's all available on my YouTube channel. It's available on the internet. It's available in blogs. None of this is a secret. It's just about how much work you guys decide to put in. Now I wanna hear your guys thoughts is the american express gold card still relevant is it still worth it in 2020 it's been quite a while since i made an update video on this card and people often forget that the american express gold card is the reason why my channel is able to get to the point it is right now i made an unboxing video a long time ago quality was awful i was in my parents basement it was just it was it was not a video that i thought would do well but surprisingly because the revamp on this card was so extraordinary a lot of people start to look it up they were starting to look up the unboxing and different things like that and that was the same time when I decided to make a video on it and I just got lucky with the algorithm and here I am today so for me personally the gold card is worth way more than other people know the gold card goes a long way for me and it, I, I just have another personal connection with this I want to hear your guys thoughts do you agree or disagree with my calculations what do you guys think is this card actually worth $30 or do you think that is not correct feel free to disagree I do want to hear everyone's thoughts down below and also one of the most popular questions I get on my video is Brian why does your gold card look a little different from the one that they hand to us or they send to us. This was actually transformed by a company called Lion Credit Card. If you guys are interested in turning your regular gold card into a 24 karat gold card, What you guys can do is actually reach out to them, let them know you want the Brian Jung special. And if you guys use code CREDIT20 at checkout, you guys will also save $20. This is a little flex, a little gift that I gave to myself. And I'm not gonna lie, I'll be straight up, you guys. This is actually one of my favorite parts of this credit card. Every single time I use it, even when I don't want compliments, I forget that this card is now a refreshed card. I do get compliments. And if, that, if that's something that you guys value, if you guys want the opportunity to strike up a conversation, that's something I recommend. Now drop a like on this video if you guys have not yet already. If you guys have not yet subscribed, make sure you guys do. And I hope this video really helped you guys out and I really hope I see you guys in the next one. It's good to be back. I'm a little sick. Hopefully you guys can not tell. Maybe you can tell. I don't know. Ooh, but I'm really excited to edit this video. I'm gonna get this up pretty soon. But thank you guys so much for tuning by. I love every single one of you guys. And we're also gonna be doing a giveaway soon, so stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Ba -ba -ba. Peace.